Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to prove that the sum of r squared terms is equal to n over 6 times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So this video was requested by Starline for Z, and if you guys have got any other requests, just put them in the comments below. So the way we do this is we consider this series right here. So r plus 1 cubed minus r cubed. So now we're going to use the method of differences and look at a few terms to find the pattern. So when r equals 1, this is going to be 2 cubed minus 1 cubed. When r equals 2, this will be 3 cubed minus 2 cubed. When r equals 3, this will be 4 cubed minus 3 cubed. And I'll do the amplitude term, so when r equals n, this will be n plus 1 cubed minus n cubed. So now I can see that some of these terms are going to cancel out. So the 2 cubes are going to cancel out, 3 cubes are going to cancel out, and this pattern goes on for the whole series, so all the middle terms cancel out. And what we're left with is the minus 1 cubed here at the start, and the n plus 1 cubed at the end. So this is what this series equals. So I'll just write it out here. So r plus 1 cubed minus r cubed equals n plus 1 cubed minus 1, because 1 cubed is just 1. So now I want to express this stuff right here as something else. So we're going to expand these brackets. So we're going to look at r plus 1 cubed minus r cubed. So th these brackets expand as r cubed plus 3r squared plus 3r plus 1. If you want to check that, you can expand all these, all these brackets, but this is what this comes out as. So, And then we've got the minus r cubed at the end. So you can see that the r cubes are going to cancel out, and this is going to equal 3r squared plus 3r plus 1. So let's go ahead and substitute this back into the series. So the sum of the series... equals 1 to n of 3r squared plus 3r plus 1 equals the result we had before. So n plus 1 cubed minus 1. And now I'm going to split up these terms and express them as different series. So I'll just bring it up here. So we've got 3 times sigma i equals 1 to n of r squared. We can just bring the numbers to the front. And next one, we've got 3 times sigma i equals 1 to n of r. And then the last one on the left-hand side is just sigma i equals 1 to n of 1. And this equals the same as the right-hand side, so n plus 1, or cubed, minus 1. So... This right here is what we're trying to find. So we're going to rearrange for this. So, but firstly we need to input what these series equal. So I'll just write this out again. r equals 1 to n of r squared. Now we know that set plus 3, we know that the sum of the series of natural numbers is equal to n over 2 times n plus 1. And this series right here is basically when we add 1 n times, so 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times. So this is going to equal just n. And then we've got n plus 1 cubed minus 1. So now I'm going to shove all this stuff onto the right-hand side. So we've just got this on the left-hand side. So 3 sigma n equals 1 r squared. So this equals n plus 1 cubed minus 1 minus 3n over 2 times n plus 1 minus n. So now we need to expand all these brackets. So this one right here, just as before, this is going to equal n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. Then we've got minus 1 and minus 3n squared over 2 and then minus, because we need to multiply it inside the bracket, so minus 3n over 2, and then right here at the end we've got minus n again. 
So you can see the ones I can cancel out straight away. And what else? So we've got 3n and minus n, so that'll be 2n and then minus 3n over 2. So this is going to come to n over 2. So I'll just write this out. So n cubed, that doesn't change. And so n squared, we've got 3n squared minus 3n squared over 2, which will be 3n squared over 2. And then, as I said before, we've got 3n minus n, so that's 2n. And then we've also got minus 3n over 2, so we get plus n over 2. So now we want to factor out some terms. So if we factor out n over 2, we're left with 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. And now we can factorise this again. So this equals n over 2 times 2n plus 1 times n plus 1. And the last step is to divide here both sides by 3. So this will give us the sum of the series of r squared terms from r equals 1 to n. And this equals n over 6 times n plus 1 just switching these two around, times 2n plus 1. So there you go. We've proved what we set out to prove.